Hey guys, Kim here, and you are tuned back into Kim E, the Diabetes MP, a place where nurse practitioners can improve their diabetes education and management skills. Today, we're going to keep it moving. We're almost done with going over all the oral medications, but today we're going to be talking about the maglitonides. I hope I said that right. Y'all know I have a little country twang to my voice, but we're going to get into it. Let's get into a little bit of overview. Now, this drug class is going to be easy for us to remember. The reason why is because this drug class is very similar to the sulfonylureas. The only difference is that this drug class is very short acting, okay? But as far as the mechanism of action, it's the same. It stimulates the pancreas to release more insulin, just like the sulfonylureas. Now, in addition to this drug class being short acting, it is more expensive than the sulfonylureas, so that's something that we need to keep in mind. And it also is a drug class that we would need to educate our patients to take with a meal, okay? Now, as we are moving through this drug class, as we're talking about side effects, precautions, and contraindications, you're going to really see how similar this is to sulfonylureas. This drug class is very effective. It actually drops the A1C anywhere between a half of a point to 1.5%. So it's really effective. Now this drug you're not going to typically see as a monotherapy. It's going to be in combination with another agent. Now your ideal patient is, first things first, they need to be able to still make insulin and put out the insulin, which makes sense. Similar to the sulfonylureas, the mechanism of action is stimulating the pancreas to release the insulin. So you still need to be able to have that mechanism. But also, it's for a patient that probably won't have dyslipidemia, not necessarily an overweight patient, um, probably has a slightly elevated fasting glucose and somebody whose hyperglycemia is just not being controlled by nutrition and exercise so they are kind of just needing that little bit to just kind of push them over you know to get them back to normal now I'm gonna be honest with you guys how many of our patients are actually like that <laughs> Typically, the person that is type 2 is obese. They do have high blood pressure. They do have high cholesterol. And by the time we are figuring out that they even have diabetes, they have probably had it for a few years and just didn't know. And so keep that in mind when you're considering this drug class. But that's the ideal patient, so I did want to mention that. <laughs> Now, as far as the side effects are, just like the sulfonylureas, hypoglycemia, okay? Anytime you have a drug class that is dealing with stimulating the pancreas to release more insulin, insulin in and of itself is going to drop the blood sugar. So you're going to have to be mindful of that. Now, this drug class does come with other side effects but when I was doing my research it's just like maybe 4% may have upper respiratory infection maybe 3% may have lower back pain but the main side effect for this medication is hypoglycemia precautions and contraindications now keeping in mind the mechanism of action remembering the sulfonylureas Clearly, we're not going to start this in a patient that has type 1, who has DKA, and then we're also going to need to monitor that renal and that hepatic function because we're, we're going to need to know if this drug is going to be able to clear effectively. We do not want this drug to be lingering around in the body because we know it causes hypoglycemia. This drug needs to be able to get cleared out when it's supposed to get cleared out, okay? Now, as far as your PAL, your pearl of wisdom that you're going to educate your patients over, just like sulfonylureas, hypoglycemia. You guessed it. Yay! <laughs> and also, guys, weight gain. Because anytime you're dealing with uh, an increase in insulin, insulin just makes people gain weight. And so these are things that we're going to have to educate our patients in so they are aware of this and we, we know how to deal with this. 
Alright guys, that's all I have. Not a very long video, but like I said earlier, this drug class is very similar to the sulfonary as the maglidonides are. And if by chance you have not caught the sulfonary as, I'll make sure to link that up here. Also, make sure that in the description box you get your medication cheat sheet that goes along with this drug class. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and ding that notification bell, press that subscribe button, and join the community. Again, this is Kim. You've been sitting here with Kim E., the Diabetes MP, and I'll catch you later. Bye!